Aries, hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Hello, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Aries Tarot reading. Aries love Tarot reading. Aries love reading. And as is pretty much, well, almost always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Aries love messages reading, channeled messages from your person, channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. <laughs> your cards kind of have a mind of their own. This is just far too many. <laughs> Aries, this is a timeless reading. You're here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection. With that said, as you can see, I'm channeling in December 2023. By the way, if you celebrate whatever holiday you celebrate, wherever you are in the world, and if in fact you do, happy holidays. And either way, whether you do or don't, happy December to you. We're almost coming up to 2024. I'm glad you're here. I really appreciate it. So welcome, whether you're here in real time in December 2023, or you're here many months, even years later, even well into 2024, because this is a faded connection. It means there's messages here for you. All the decks that are coming in are listed below. This particular deck is an Etsy's deck, and uh, I think you can just research it there for Christmas. <laughs> anyway, so I just wanted to put that out there. I, I don't have the link, but I'll put down, I'll put something down in the description. <laughs> anyway, you'll also find all the playlists, all zodiac signs, all signs, tarot readings. Those are love readings for the collective. If you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long, very in-depth Twin Flame readings below and a lot more, so feel free to explore if you're inspired to do so. Keep in mind this is a general tarot reading, so take what resonates, let the rest go. Sometimes things are, messages are coming in from your person that in fact you feel is your energy, can be vice versa. So take what what is for you. Before we begin, I would like to take this time to ask you to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Liking the video helps to put it in front of more people. So it just, yeah, it gets to more people and it helps to keep the channel moving. So thank you so much for that. Don't forget your notifications so you know in real time when I'm uploading any love reading that you might be interested in watching. And thank you for being here today. Let's get moving and see what is going on, Aries. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards for Aries. Aho. The Page of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles in the Partnership Placement. The Three of Wands, Aries energy, Sun and Aries energy. So, yeah, look, somebody is holding on to this wand, the energy of love here looking out into the divine directions, the divine, divine timing, communication, growth. It's a really fast energy in Aries. This is around the sun energy. So this is around the outcome. This is the sun, of course, is Leo energy, but that's the source that's connecting us to higher power, crown chakra, movement here. It's an energy of teamwork. So coming together and moving forward. It can be literal physical travel for some of you. The Ten of Swords is on a birthday cake. <laughs> okay, Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment is here, Aries. Knight of Swords. So your person has a lot to say. They're coming in here pretty fast with what they want to say, wanting to change everything. This everything, excuse me, this is a new cycle. The Ten of Swords. It's you can't get any more swords in, and that's Sun and Gemini energy, and that's the Sun energy coming through also here as the sun literally is coming up here and holding on to this wand, getting ready to make this decision. Is there, have there been some timing issues? Whatever is going on, no contact, no communication and or in separation. It can be, this is someone you've come here for specifically, or maybe it's somebody even coming into your mind. And a lot of times for some of you, it can be that the communication is around someone you're actually near, but it's just broken down or not going well, whatever the case is. They're holding on to this pentacle. It's a, it's a clean, it's like a clean slate energy, trying to figure out how to come back in here with it. It's page energy. And then oftentimes is around 
well, sort of like a student energy, you know, trying to figure out how to come here. And I'll tell you, as far as what they want to say and how they're coming, they have a lot to say. I mean, they have a little, <laughs> look, here's a piece of cake here. They're taking it off the sword and coming in here. This is transactional energy. It's clarity, it's truth, it's information. The horse is looking a little freaked out. There is some, I want to say it's around some emotional energy too. And the Knight of Swords, this is Libra and Mercury energy. So this is coming here and, well, it's balancing out the divine feminine, divine masculine energies in order to come from a place of truth and clarity and bring that to you. And it's Mercury, of course, and that's the planet of the mind and the planet of communication. And what they have to say is, is I feel like, going to change everything. This is wish fulfillment. And what I wanted to tell you here in the partnership placement with this Three of Pentacles, Mars and Capricorn energy, this is coming together and communicating and working things out. This is a collaborative energy. You know, it's at one person, <laughs> the connection can't show up here. If that's the case, then we'd be seeing it in reverse. And I think it wasn't and probably might still be coming out of that. But this is the energy coming in. So whether this is around timing issues or it's simply the time, it is coming together and it is figuring things out here and communicating. And around that is wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups, Jupiter and Pisces energy. Jupiter is the planet of expansion, prosperity, wisdom and growth, optimism. Here in this connection, and Jupiter is connecting us to Pisces and Sagittarius energy. So it's a fast energy. It's quite an emotional energy. But of course, here in this particular card, this is only the Pisces energy. But it's, you can see here, it's a new cycle. It's the completion of this no contact, no communication, and or in separation. Again, so however that is resonating for you, and it's the renewal coming. And that's what I also wanted to say about this energy here in the Knight of Swords, the Libra and Mercury energy, because that Libra energy connects us to infinity. For some of you, it might be around twin flame communication. Not everybody is on a twin flame journey, of course. So that's going to be for just somebody, some, someone, you know, for those of you, it's really particular. But that's, of course, a, a particular kind of love to infinity. And that's the balance and that's restoring balance and that's working through a cycle and, and the renewal both in the divine feminine divine masculine energies within us all in particular your person who's trying to figure it out who's coming into that energy and just completing this cycle and coming here with this new new cycle new beginning potential here of course that 10 is deducing in 201 and that's taking the opportunity which we see them contemplating here this Knight of Swords, have you been going in the wrong direction? <laughs> it's kind of going in this way. But I also feel that energy coming. The Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck is wanting to show it's more Sun energy. It's the Sun and Capricorn energy. So they have not let you go. In fact, there's a manifesting energy that's coming through here. But I will tell you, there is something here in the way of a Pentacle connection, contract, partnership, relationship, commitment. What is that? It can be around romantic, but it cannot, and it can be even for some of you a karmic situation that that is the cycle. That's not going to be for everybody. Because the thing is, is that pentacle, the connection, the contract, whatever it is, can also be around somebody who was not really, who was choosing work or money, or there's some really big differences in your, your cult, your cultural and religious differences or where you're living, who is where in the commitment. There's something that they're trying to sort out here. And you can actually see that pentacle of yours of not letting you go here in the page of pentacles today, holding it up and looking at it longingly and trying to figure out how to come in here and communicate, which is what you've been waiting for. And this wish fulfillment energy, it's, it's wishes coming true. You know, it's abundance around, of course, the cup energy and the pentacles. And it's things coming to fruition, attainment, fulfillment. And of course, it's the cup energy. It's around this love. And it's connected here with the Knight of Swords. So they're coming in with that pentacle here, which we're seeing, and that's your pentacle. There's still something they're trying to figure out, and you can see it also here in the Three of Wands. You know, third-party situations, can it be that this other pentacle is perhaps a karmic situation or another romantic situation? Yeah. Can it be around commitment issues? Yes. Location, 
differences, whatever that is, they're still trying to work it out to come here and communicate. And we see that that's ultimately what we're also seeing here in the minor arcana energy here in the partnership placement is what you've been waiting for to communicate. And this is just really strong. They're coming in here with a lot to say and wanting to change everything here in this Knight of Swords. It's almost like, yeah, it's like a timing issue. You know, they're going in, in another direction. So I'm wondering if for some of you, Aries, when you're here and ready, they're here. And then when they're here and you're ready, you're here. So it's sort of like the, it's the infinity symbol, which is also connecting us again to Libra. And it's balancing that out, kind of like a wobble. You know, we will wobble. <laughs> I'm dating myself, but we will wobble. They fall down. What is it? But they get back up anyway. So that's just sort of like, you know, kind of tick, 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 and stopping and balancing out. So everybody's in the same place at the same time. And I feel that that is coming here. And again, it's divine, you know, it's divine number, it's divine timing, it's communication, it's wish fulfillment, it's what you've been waiting for. Just what are they trying to figure out here? So we saw it, it came, <laughs> it came and it went and I think it came right back. It did and look at that, it came back with the two of wands. So here it is now and here's the star energy with that. Oh yeah, that's the renewal. Aquarius energy, Uranus energy, that's changing everything. This conversation is going to change something here, Aries. The star card, a faded connection. You, There has been a cooling off period, and I feel like emotionally, you know, that your person maybe was not emotionally available. Maybe there's even a little bit of emotional immaturity for some of you. It can be around age. It doesn't mean that it is. But this is the renewal, and this is the clarity. It's like coming out of here getting that renewal, getting getting that clarity, and then rushing in here for this conversation because they haven't let you go. Whether that's coming in person or a knock on the door, as, uh, oftentimes in the Knight of Swords, it's communication. So it can be a voice message, a phone call, a knock on the door. But a lot of times it's connected to reading and writing. So it can be a message, social media, SMS, email, whatever the case is. But that's the renewal and that's the clarity and that's the movement. That's coming to an eight. And of course, that is an action number. It's accomplishing something. And that eight is around some karma, you know. And that's working that out. And that's also the infinity sign again. And that's the truth. And that's also the renewal. So that's the cycle. That's the renewal coming here. They've got all the information and they're rushing in here to say it. I really like this for you. And it's also this eighth star, you know, is, is a gift, was, is a gift to the Leo energy to the strength card, source, of course, God, goddess, the universe, the divine, what, what is that for you? And that's sending that to the strength card for this clarity, hope for the clarity and strength to work through that cycle. So we see that that energy is kind of here. It can't even be that we're dealing with a Leo, but it can be a lot of things, you know, uh, pretty much in almost every reading, nearly every sign is going to be coming through. So it's a matter of the message connected to that for some of you that might really extra resonate. But whatever the case is, that Leo energy is under there and that's having worked through that cycle and you can see that. So it's a matter of timing and it's a matter of when for me. The Two of Cups here connected with this cycle. And here's the thing. This 10, of course, is the end of a cycle. It's completion energy. So it's all those swords out, the ending here. And, and you can't get any more swords in. And here, the thing about the Two of Wands is look what is here. First of all, this is more Aries energy. And it's also Mars energy, which is connected to you, Aries. And Scorpio, though it's not a Scorpio energy. And Mars energy is the planet of action. And passion and, and drive, desire, but also a completion energy. And we're seeing that here in this decision. Something here is bolted in. So we know that there's something going on, third party situation, whether again, it's a person, place, thing, location, whatever that is that they're working out, that will be getting worked out. And we also see them holding on here to you in this wand energy of making this decision that you've been waiting for. And that completion energy in the Mars represented here in the world, which is bringing in the world, the world card, deep soulmate energy, completion, travel for some physical, but moving forward and just the completion energy around 
divine timing, communication, and growth. And that's bringing in your person coming in here with some life-changing decisions, wanting to get closer to you in this soulmate energy here. Whatever it is they're saying, whatever they have to say here, it's what you've been wanting to hear. Is it just them coming here to communicate that you've been wanting? I think you've been waiting for that too, and it looks like you're here for it. I think it's a whole lot more than that though. And the two of wands and the three of wands here both together. Yeah. So let's see what else is wanting to come through in your reading. The Ace of Swords in the upright. The Eight of Swords. The Five of Cups. These are also yours. The Queen of Swords. The Ace of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Okay, interesting. So Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. I mean... This is just kind of funny to me in this deck because <laughs> it's a turkey, you know? And of course, this is a holiday deck. And my dad always used to say, you know, talking about when somebody's just kind of not being very nice or whatever, what a turkey. <laughs> so possibly, yeah, around some behavior. We'll leave it at that. In any case, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and they got, they've got the clarity here. And that's bringing in some ideas. This is literally coming out of nowhere. Just, you know, and also this nocturnal energy connecting here with the Ten of Swords with your person. Of kind of getting this clarity and now looking at this completion energy and really wanting to come in here in regard to what they want. Which I feel is you getting closer to you, their true purpose. And this is bringing in life-changing decisions. That energy here. So... I want to say too some validation of the fact that there's some <laughs> some turkey energy that they were being what was going on okay because we we see the clarity that they're getting and it's connected to whatever happened here that put everybody into the ten of swords and they haven't let you go and then you also see a really strong validation of the clarity in the star card so of course they're coming in here backing each other up the star energy saying, yeah, you know, look, it's even like popping in at, a, at an actual table setting here. So for some of you, if there is an opportunity or something even coming up where you see each other, that might be the case. They know here. And so now they're in this contemplative mode about wanting to come forward here. The state of swords energy is a, a really a validation of where they've been and where they might be still, but they're popping out of that. It's minor arcana energy. It's just really clear because this is all up in their head, kind of lack of clarity, not talking here. You can get out of there. You know, it's where you put yourself, Jupiter and Gemini energy. And we see here in the star card that they have the clarity, that they've worked out or they're working out whatever it is they need to work out here in that pentacle. Whether it's just around internal conflict, internal struggles or challenges, obstacles or external, whatever that is, they've got the clarity. It's a matter of timing for me, but it is a validation that it was slowing some things down. Here also, as you can see in between the three of wands, the movement around the timing. So maybe some timing issues again of somebody here, somebody there. Is it around just being in their head and being stuck? Because it's also the separation and the lack of communication. Or is it connecting to third party situations and why timing is here? Why why somebody's ready and somebody's not? Because I'm kind of seeing this. It's It's really like the infinity here just going... You know, it's just the lack of renewal, not being able to work something out still, which we see coming here. The Nine of Wands connecting here with the Three of Pentacles, Moon and Sagittarius energy. And that's the Moon energy. So it's around emotions, of course. It's the subconscious. And your the Sun energy is really strong here today in your reading, both in, well, it's, it's I want to say that the, big, the the strongest energy for me here today with the sun energy is the three of wands, Aries, and that's your energy. As they come into the sun energy, which is the conscious, which is working things out, going toward the outcome, the knowing energy. And of course, that con conscious energy, excuse me, the sun is, is what shines on the moon, the subconscious energy, and illuminates it, and it's full, so everything can be seen. And it's kind of, I mean, it's connected to nocturnal energy, so it's really connected with what your person is is realizing that really is the ace of swords energy and i'm really feeling judgment here as well there's really a lot of clarity of course also validating the star energy here but that moon that full energy and being able to see it all and bring it all out 
You know, everything, I just, I really feel that judgment energy of things being kind of aired out, clarity, truth coming here. And somebody, though, is holding on to that Nine of Wands, that Moon in, uh, in Sagittarius energy. And that's just kind of keeping things, I want to say, some boundaries up here. So that might be some of your energy that's still coming through. And that's, you know, Wounded Warrior energy. It's connecting also with the Seven of Wands for me of just not wanting to be hurt again. But I got to tell you, too, I really feel this energy uh, in the Nine of Wands connecting with your person that once things are, are kind of like, well, once they <laughs> this page figures some things out, then it's going to be really fast how they come in. And that's connecting here with the Knight of Swords and also here with the Queen of Swords. So, and here's the thing. What's the truth? Well, the Queen of Swords is all about the truth. Libra ruled by Venus energy. So, of course, that's balancing, connecting us to infinity again. There is that <laughs> infinity symbol coming through for some of you twin flame communication. Most definitely not for everybody, but it is here. But, of course, that's the balance. And it's the balancing of the divine feminine and divine masculine energies within us all again to get the truth and clarity within themselves to bring it. But it's also the renewal. So, the truth is coming here with this Knight of Swords. There's a little bit of clashing with that. And I'll tell you, what is that around? Well, the Five of Cups. This is the Moon and... This is the Mars and Scorpio energy. And again, Mars energy. You know, the beginning and the end. The planet of action. Some conflicting energy, but desire around that. What somebody wants in the completion energy. You're both still here in each other's energy. And here's the other thing. that There's a lot of regret around your person for leaving you... I want to say leaving things or just not having, like, that they don't care about you or that they don't love you. I just, that's not the case here. You can see them coming in with the truth. And it's around an emotional energy and it's coming in really fast. They have their sword on a heart Christmas cake. <laughs> but I kind of feel like it's a piece of this cake here. And it's the truth coming here with the Queen of Swords. A lot of regret, and you're both still in each other's energy. That's the Two of Cups here, Venus and Cancer energy. So is what they're bringing in, because that brings in some proposal energy. Can it be that this life-changing energy that I'm feeling here in this world card, which is here within the Two of Wands, the completion energy, is coming here with an offer to, yeah, it can be. You still love each other, I feel. You're still in each other's energy. But I want to tell you, you know, you also see the Three of Cups here. So I'm wondering also if a lot of you were just waiting here in this wish fulfillment energy just for communication and an apology too because that Three of Cups is, is in the upright. It's Mercury and Cancer energy and it is around communication. But it's also, they're knocked over. So it can be that some things were said, you know, that they're, that's a lot of what the regret is. Or the fact that there's just not been either very good communication or communication at all. And that's why they're rushing in here. You're, in, you're still connected here. There's, this is, I don't feel like this is over at all, Aries. And they are coming in here fulfilling some wishes with the truth, with the pentacle, with communication. Here also, again, with some regret energy. Things kind of moved around here. And yeah, let me just look at this. It just, everything just moved around and this is where this is going. It's wanting to connect with the Ten of Swords, with this new cycle. <laughs> the way they're just kind of, you know, <laughs> clashing, but it's like really getting, coming here really fast, changing everything with the truth, really. It's like meeting up with the Queen of Swords and saying, let's go. Okay, so the Three of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, this is, there's that Three of Cups that we were talking about. This is the communication. Mercury and Cancer energy, soul connection, reunion energy, celebratory energy. For some of you, you might be seeing your person, literally. <laughs> it might be popping in here at an event. It's not going to be for everyone. Maybe you know about it, maybe you don't. You can see that there's... Uh, possible actual travel here, you know, planes, trains, 
automobiles, horses, <laughs> the chariot. But that's just also the energy moving, moving, to, moving, coming in, you know, your person coming in here. And this in particular, this is the Mercury and Cancer energy. It's around your connection, it's emotional, and it's communication here. It's around the divine, divine timing, communication, growth. So this is a really healing meeting, conversation, messages, whatever that is. It's it's going to be, it's coming in here really healing. I love this coming in here with this Queen of Cups energy. And I got to tell you too, this Queen of Cups has a cup and it's a snow globe. Interesting. And it's coming in here with the Nine of Cups. So you've been waiting to, to either see and or talk to your person. And that's coming up here. It's reunion energy. Again, whether it's in person or it is just via message or online phone calls, whatever. You can see, and it's what you've been wishing for. It's wish fulfillment, and it's a very healing energy. So although they're coming in here very quickly and wanting to be honest, bringing you the truth, and there's a lot to say, it is changing everything, and they're coming in here in a way that's really beautiful in this Queen of Cups energy. It's a very healing energy. It's a very nurturing energy. It's the Queen of Cups. It's the Cancer energy. It's coming in here emotionally available, coming in here with... I want to say remorse because there's some regret here. There's a lot of regret here. So there is apologetic energy, Aries, but there's just also, yeah, it's, they're sad too. And they're sad that they hurt you. So this is, yeah, this feels really big for me. And the three of cups is actually wanting to take the position of overall energy. Oh, the queen of cups is being put here. Okay. That's how that's going. So as I said that, my guides have um, other plans. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah, so this is actually, I'm connecting this here. And again, there is a persistent energy here, but it can be there. There is, because you're also here in this Five of Cups energy, and it can be that, I want to just do one more little run here. It can be that you are, okay, so here we go. The Six of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Aries. So you're also here. That's what I wanted to say. You're both here. So that's just, yeah, it's a no-brainer. You're both here. Look, they're coming in here with an offer. They're coming in here with someone. Is it just this message? Maybe, but I think it's a whole lot more. They have the pentacle in their hand. Yeah, they have a lot to say and around the truth. And there is a lot of... I feel apologetic energy here. There's a lot of regret coming through. This conversation, this communication, whether it's in person or apart, online, phone calls, whatever, is going to be really healing and it's going to change everything. And I do feel that there's an offer coming through here. There's a turning point. Look at this, the Six of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Sun and Scorpio energy. Boy, are they thinking about you. And a lot of times this can be a dreamy energy for me. This is just, <laughs> I got that camera just in time. This is not just a dreamy energy. This is making plans for this reunion. Again, whether you're going to be seeing each other or you're going to be getting a message coming in here, it's a turning point. And that's validation of communication here in the Wheel of Fortune. It is a faded connection. Fate, destiny, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. A deep soulmate connection here and coming into your destiny. A really strong turning point in this connection. It is the end of a cycle. It's the completion of that. No contact, no communication and or in separation. What is that for you? It's a new cycle here. Most definitely, of course, that 10 deducing into a one. That's the opportunity and for this communication and all the potential that is here. So no, this isn't just a dreamy energy for me. This is making plans for this reunion energy, again, whether it's a message or not. Twin Flame energy is here if you're on the Twin Flame journey. It's not for everybody, but I want to bring it through. Soulmate energy, yes. And really strongly connected both here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Cups is just that feeling that you've known each other forever. Some of you may have like years wise known each other since you're younger or just many years but there's just that feeling too and that's the soul connection here between you this is just really incredibly clear leo scorpio taurus and aquarius by the way are here in this energy and they're connecting here now i want to bring in a little bit of oracle and actually this is coming in here okay a little bit of oracle 
and then we're going to bring in some channeled love messages. But before we do, my guides just said, hello. <laughs> what about the Empress here? Yeah. More validation. They're coming in here in a really emotionally available way, Aries. They want to restart things. What does that mean for you? Is that talking again, talking more, seeing each other, coming back together? This is why they're coming in. It's also connected to the fifth chakra, and that's the truth. The Empress has access to all the signs. She's the leader of the 12 signs, all elements, water, air, earth, and fire, all the resources that are needed here today that we're actually seeing here today. Creation, abundance, growth, new beginnings. For some of you, there might even be a connection already in the way of a legal connection or even children. It will not be for everybody. And it can't even be connecting in that way for you currently or in the future. Whatever the case is, it's divine timing. It's the divine it's communication, it's growth, this is divine feminine energy. Of course, Venus energy, the planet of love, which Venus, of course, this is also Libra energy. So it is a Taurus and a Libra energy here. And it's around the timing of them coming in. It's just incredibly clear. The renewal, the growth, the offer, the connection that is here. I want to bring in some Oracle. We're shuffled and ready to go. I'm just going to move the energy a little bit more. I'm not reading Oracle in reverse. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. Please show us the cards for Aries. Aho. Okay, <laughs> interesting is I'm not reading it in reverse, but it is the stagnation ice. But here's the thing. I mean, that is melting, so it doesn't matter. If this is, look at the ice. It's melting here. There are three ice cubes. That's the divine. And that's the stagnation ending. We see that because and it's inevitable this ice is going to melt. And that is connected to the divine, the water energy, connected to the love. And, of course, communication here. It's the water energy and it's quite emotional energy. And yeah, this is the stagnation ending, excuse me, in the communication here. The globe, to totality. This is the world card now, a validation of what we have here in the Two of Wands. This is the completion coming through. This is reaching, I want to say, this is getting to where you maybe didn't get to before because the Empress can get you there. And there is a turning point here. So whatever that means for you, this is the completion energy. It's your person coming in here with life-changing decisions. So much to say, which is also life-changing. So is that around an offer? I, I think so. This is connected to Chariot for me today. This And also here in the Wheel of Fortune, look at the Sphinx there. You have to come up with the riddle to get that Sphinx, to get this Wheel of Fortune, this Christmas donut turning here. For this new cycle, it's always turning the cycles of life. That's what it's doing here. But this is literally, they figured it out. They've worked something out here behind that star energy. The Leo energy was coming in. It was, yeah, that's what that was. And that's working through that cycle here, having figured out the riddle to turn that for this turning point in the connection quite literally and again also connecting us with chariot with the cancer and the moon energy and communication and moving forward and changing everything and for some taking an actual physical journey here where why do i feel like where did the two of wands go where did you go i'm holding it <laughs> yeah physical journey but also just coming in here coming back in it's time you know it's Getting back to where you were. Really deep soulmate connection here. Having worked through some, kar some karma. Some obstacles. This is just really incredibly clear. This is connecting us to the moon energy. Look, so instinct, of course. That's a strong instinctive energy here. And it's more of the moon energy. Pisces, Gemini, and Cancer energy. And it's around the emotions. And that full moon that we were talking about as wolves howl at the moon. And, well, yeah, it's opening up and communicating around. It's that full moon just illuminating everything here and airing it all out. Next move energy, I want to say. 
what is going on here hammering it out look at that that's like that's like eight of pentacles energy for me the sun in virgo energy so virgo coming in with details <laughs> a lot of details here i feel what is that around you know everybody's where everybody where each of you are in your life but it's forging ahead it's hammering them out I really like this and this is really wow so the last two coming in here are pillar of support that's bringing in high priestess energy it's bringing in a lot of the queen of cups energy it's this decision it's this connection it's trusting I feel going where you know is the right direction to go so whatever that's going to mean for you inner growth also around your person and making this decision and coming in here you know, and that's, um, well, yeah, that's, that's, um, it's connecting also with the, I want to say the, <laughs> what am I saying? The companion of the queen of cups, the king of cups here. It's, it's some inner growth emotionally too. And that's also connecting here with the empress coming in here, emotionally available, some changes that have gone on here, coming in here, ready, coming in here, different. And for both of you and making a decision here, the connection is really powerful, I feel. And this is connecting with the communication and decisions around this connection, Aries. Also here with your person, they are filled with a lot of regret here. I feel the love here in a really strong way. And I want to know what they have to say um, in the way of channeled love messages. Messages from your person, Aries. Messages from their higher self. Those are yours, and these are yours. That's a lot. <laughs> and that's how it's going. This is on the totality, the globe, the world card. We are soulmates. That's the energy here. Okay, so they're validating that. They know this too. And look, I love you. So that's just been really strong for me. We know they have not let you go. This is just really incredibly clear. I'm keeping it here with this energy, but really, you know... I think I might be putting this here with the Six of Cups. Three of Cups, you know, my heart belongs to you. <laughs> this is how it's going. You are my person. I was stupid. It's the truth. It's coming here with the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords. They they coming here and owning it I really like that taking accountability they know they messed up Aries what does this mean for you I miss you too someone's sending in I miss you and I miss you too we have a deep soul connection three of cups six of cups the world here wheel of fortune the world energy here also bringing in again Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius. Fixed signs don't love change, so possibly some fear here. I was stupid. It can't even be literally around commitment. That's the regret connecting to the Five of Cups and the inner growth of the change that has gone on here. It's quite urgent. I think this is going to be really fast energy. Whether it's somebody who's just had commitment issues or there's something else in that pentacle is another situation. Whatever it is you've been wishing for, even if that's just communication, it's really clearly here. And there's a very strong connection between you and a lot of love, I feel, still. I'm trying to send you a message. Yeah, that's really incredibly strong. Again, it's the communication here, whether it's in person, a voice message, or SMS, social media, email, whatever. No one compares to you. I miss you. So here's some telepathic, some telepathy going on and not surprising because I feel the King of Cups here. It's the counterpart to the Queen of Cups. There's a strong emotional energy between the two of you and you might be receiving these messages via music or things, just synchronicities, dreams, things that are coming to you and just saying, you're, it's a knowing energy of knowing when you hear it or when you see it or just you know, synchronicities, repeating numbers, words, people coming in, just knowing that. So sending in, I miss you, and an I miss you too. I'm putting that here. 
your last channeled love message, message from your person Aries. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. So this might be around something really particular for some of you. Or just a general, I'm sorry that I wasn't there for you. This is this is a lot around that regret and the inner growth, having realized that. An apology, I really like this. Is that all that's coming for some of you? Maybe, but I, I really think it's a lot more. It's wish fulfillment in that cup, that Queen of Cups. She's taking that cup here to then wish fulfillment in the Nine of Cups, and that's putting us in the Ten of Cups. So where are you building a life together, a family that's going to mean something different for everyone, but it is here for some of you with that Empress energy. It's a validation. Blending families, introducing families. Were you already there? Were you, was it, were you working toward it or was it on the table? Because it's on the table again is what I want to say. The hope for that coming back in here, this new, yeah, this new cycle is really strong. Aries, what a beautiful reading it was and always is my honor to channel for you. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for taking the time to be here. I appreciate it so much. I hope you enjoyed your reading too. And if you did, a way to show that support is to like the video, which will then of course help bring it to more people and help keep the channel moving. And of course, subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not subscribed. This really, really helps. I can't say it enough. And have your notifications on so you are notified when readings are coming if you would like to be. Thank you again. I'm sending you so much love and light. I wish you the very best outcome and I look forward to seeing you at another love reading. Until then, bye Aries.